and laws, the choice of the type of these projections, spending a deputy, non obstructed trade, auto rendered the laws. Another very clear cancer is the cancer that starts in the nether paradox, or a part of the paradox behind the nose and nose, and close to the basal skull. The first report on muscle cardiac has been going in the way of the head and blood in 1947. Marshall's report of the deceased patient in 1968 highlighted the fact that nether paradox cancer was not ready to initial the regular therapy of all his hospital combat cases of nether paradox cancer committed in the back cancer registry. From 1981 to 2000, I noted an annual average increase of 15 nano cardiac cases per year, as shown in the law of one. In the 1968 study, cancer cancer was still 1.4 percent of all cancers in the arthritis cancer registry, while in our 2004 study, it was 32 percent of the total cancers in the same registry. In our study, the death to fever ratio was 2.3 to 1. In a overall mean age of about 1.1 years. The peak age of this age of dinners was in the 20 to 29 years age. Among the dinners, this was in the 50 to 59 years age group, with an almost equal number of cases occurring each of the preceding three years, as shown in figure 2. We noted that the ratio of regular to significant type of cancer refers to the increasing age among the dinners, with a significant type being more common in the early ages. And an equal incidence of cerebral types in the fifth decade. With respect to the males, both types increased the peak in the sixth decade, but never really reversed in ratio, as shown in table 1. Regular and significant cerebral types constituted 38.6% and 56.1% of the nasal parenteral cancers. The early peak is associated with the significant type, that is, both of the nasal types 2 and 3 of the nasal parenteral cancers, seen in some populations with intermediate incidence. These also have longer remission as well as after treatment. The report type of other cardiac cancer, one of the strong type one, has been associated with non abnormal virus types 11 and 16, while the split type is more commonly associated with anti Epstein Barr virus or this and anti and EP5, EPP, DNA, tumor cells. The peak age of incidence of 20 to 29 years for the tumors corresponds to the early peak. The eighth special part of the nasal parietal cancer has known patients. And 50 to 59 years of the nerves, the second peak, we also noted that the suspected etiology of things such as smoking, alcohol, and tobacco consumption, eating of something on water, smoke, fish, and wood, walk, we are not found to be similar factors as noted by some reports from Nigeria. There would seem to be an unexplained increase, increase of susceptibility of the female sex to the early DVD infection. Rather than that cancer, they are about 10 age, occurring in many proportions in the Chinese population. The disease is thought to be prevalent amongst the Easterners in Nigeria. The reduced risks for this include the high prevalence of the use of smoke, the geographical discipline which appears to coincide with that of COVID-19, that has its prevalence in the southern parts of the country, wherein for the maximum forest widespread malaria infection and other endemic. Our patients presented with very late disease and diagnosis was happy in that. Location the patient they present first, the pharmacologist with globia, pharmacologia of mass injury, and to the neurosurgeon with soft temporal injuries, or even to the neurologist with multiple cranial neuropathies, including the parenteric complex or dysplasia. The common symptom and presentation was next to as over 65% of the patients presented with like a note in life, example of which is shown in the other three. In our 12 years perspective study of 79 nasal cancer patients, we documented for the first time in the country and South Carolina country two essential manifestations, ptosis 15% and normal syndrome 3%. And thus, drawing more attention to the neurologic form of presentation as an aid to any diagnosis of nasal cancer carcinoma. The treatment of CHOP, nasal cancer cancer, is radiotherapy and or chemotherapy. It is worsened by the increase in the number of cases of nasal cancer cancer has not been matched with a commensurate increase in diagnostic and radio chemotherapeutic centers or facilities to manage of the disease. Stage 4 disease with this time metastasis has a 0% 5 years of life. We reported the only case of endocrine cancer in this environment for now. A male who survived for 8 years following chemo radiation. Primary extra, not that one, which is the 
more specific symptoms of the mental issues at the early stage, religious and social cultural beliefs and practices of the people, poverty in its risk, and initial self medication. We reiterated the need for improved awareness of the general populace through social campaign and grant help programs similar to those allotted to lung cancer. This will enable any referral of patients presenting with signs and symptoms of their hours to the four arrival specialists for appropriate evaluation and treatment. Total and gentle means are preferred treatment option for advanced cancer of the larynx. Total and gentle means removal of the whole larynx. And cases of therapy with the However, many of these patients are for radiotherapy or chemotherapy in spite of the counseling for fear of using the cause box. And dogs unable to speak at the last Advanced disease and previous radiation of the neck cause tissue fibrosis, reduce blood supply, and hinder wound healing, and thus contribute to the development of pharyngoctenous tissue in some of our patients. Faced with this challenge, we use the petroleum signature musculoskeletal spherical flap to carry out a one stage pharyngoctenous repair, pharyngoctenous tissue flap with two results, as shown in figure 5. Our initial experience with the first case was highlighted in the population that one stage finding a spagial repair of the tissue and spagial stenosis using a structural major osteoclonal spherical flap. To our, this to our knowledge was the first of such a restoration of pharyngo spagial lunate following total lactectomy complicated by pharyngo tissue in Nigeria and South region. Success stories of other cases of pharyngo tissue managed with this procedure have followed this initial case in Nigeria. Stomach recurrence. Tumor recurrence and the extractive stroke is a major complication experience post surgery for advanced cancer of the larynx. Many a time it has grave prognosis. With respect to this study, 18 patients that have total diagnostomy from successful compound cancer of the larynx of a 12 year period. For stomach recurrence and also protocol factors. All the patients were hopes at presentation with 15 in severe trial, signaling significant obstruction in their head. Three lines with 14 patients and four patients had emergency and elective transcostomy procedure respectively. Post operatively, 20 patients had only radical radiotherapy. Four had chemo radiation, by two had post operative, three operative, and additional post operative radiotherapy. The mean duration between the pre operative tracheostomy and total radiotomy was 62.2 days, while the mean duration between total and determined development of stomach recurrence was 7.8 months. Ten patients, ten patients died. We observed that the mean duration from onset of symptoms to date for those with stomach recurrence was 28.3 months, and that 24 patients that recurrence we are still alive as at the time of our report. Based on the foregoing, we concluded that at the stage of disease, the involvement of all the subsides of the larynx and the presence of operative glycosamine like was the first of the likely risk factors that could be associated with stomach recurrence in our environment. Emergency total injection has not been possible in our environment as people in this environment reject within their thoughts at the initial stage of informing them of the type of vision possible outcomes. Flowing from our findings, we advise accurate counseling of the prospective lidotomy to be carried out in the presence of one or two previous lidotomies. And surgery, the section of paratracheal, retracheal, and retrospinal nodes, and complete excision of previous tracheostomy tract are carried out. This practice thus has reduced the incidence of this complication in our center. Their presentation is still a problem, although there is an improvement in the level of awareness on carcinoma of the larynx with a constant rise in the number of patients presenting to us. A challenge we still remains completely solved is voice restoration post injection. post injection speech representation in our patients has been by spider speech daily, except in two patients who are using electro larynx and more recently tracking spider voice processes in the patient. Head and neck cancers. Following our retrospective cancer and study of cancer of the larynx, we decided to look at the prevalence and pattern of head and neck cancers, especially with respect to the retroviral status of our patients from 1996 to 2005. 
They talk about chronic bronchial infection one and neck cancer. We are seeing with the, within the story period with a peak in the 2004 to 2005, as shown in Figure 6. Head and neck cancers were most common in the sixth decade of life in this study, as also illustrated in Figure 7. Ten patients were HIV positive, giving a prevalence of 1.9. Their age range from 17 to 64 years, with 70 percent being within the age range 17 to 45 years. Radiant cancers were the most common head and neck cancer seen in this study, as shown in the table two. There were 11 cases of malignant salivary gland cancers, all parotid, with four of them being HIV AIDS positive. High rates of salivary gland diseases, not necessarily tumors, we observed by Master Tupo in 2004, Morgan Shobe in 2005, and Bakari Amas and Dinobu in 2005. Master Tupo in 2005 showed this to a probable increase in HIV concentration in saliva. The HIV serotonin of 1.9% in our stock was high in comparison with the cohort's report of 1.6% in 10,000 cases by the OSP top. This may not be operated with a high prevalence of HIV in Sub-Saharan Africa. The United Nations Program on HIV AIDS, UNAIDS 2005, report, report described Nigeria as one of those countries with the most rapidly increasing numbers of cases of HIV AIDS. The period 2004 to 2006 recorded more cases of HIV serotonin, whereas none was recorded in 1997 to 2000. This picture coincided with a period with the highest prevalence of head and neck cancers. Thus, we have found that there may be a weak relationship between HIV, AIDS, serotonin, and malignant head and neck problems, as also considered by all the There is thus a need for further research into the factor responsible for high salivary gland involvement in HIV, serotonin patients, especially in the tropics. However, we are unable to establish whether primary head and neck cancers are called more frequently in HIV AIDS patients than in the general population, although an inference could be drawn as far as with the study of others at all. In a recent study on head and neck cancer, we noted decreased serum level of micronutrients, that is vitamin A and zinc, in our patients. It was a case control study of 65 convective patients with historical diagnosis of head and neck cervical cell cancer and 65 healthy volunteers, similar in age, sex, and socioeconomic status. 55 patients presented with advanced form of the disease. The mean body mass index of cases and control we are 22.7 and 23.1 respectively. The mean serum zinc level of the controls was 113.6 micrograms per deciliter and was higher than the cases 89.8 micrograms per deciliter. The mean serum vitamin A retinol level of the controls was 77.7 and was even higher than the cases, which with their own value as 61.3 micrograms per the liter. This liter. Although no abnormal cell serum zinc retinol was found in both groups, there is a trend of lower levels of these nutrients in the patients than the healthy individuals. Thus, we concluded that head and neck squamous cell carcinoma patients are more malnourished than the healthy population. The survival is uh, This is an autoreneurology uh, presentation, and I will therefore uh, credit the audience to service my throat.
because it's a mobile construction in our environment. The acquired courses of our air construction, we are 79, while the amount was just four, as was stated in the table five. In children, the most common causes we are going to respect the carbonatosis, laryngeal foreign body, and laryngeal foreign body. Why not? Laryngeal carcinoma and oral laryngeal injuries were the most common. In Mukaji's 1977 study of 49 cases of upper respiratory tract construction, recurrent respiratory carbonatosis considered the highest cause, followed by the table. In Okafor's 1981 analysis of 82 cases of airway construction, laryngeal foreign bodies considered the highest, followed by recurrent respiratory carbonatosis. But that increase in cases of direct laryngeal injuries and laryngeal carcinoma may be due to lifestyle changes and increase in this post for supernova aspects and smoking in our study. It is well noted that if disease of the patient's antrachiostomy to relieve the air obstruction before the definitive treatment, but we advise support of community awareness and health education programs developed by the encouraging early presentation from referral to dispatch and thus improve the outcome of treated cases. Right from the above, so my colleagues and I decided to review the indication for trachostomies and see if there is any change in history at the University College Hospital over a 10 year period. Trachostomy is an important life saving procedure in the management of the obstructive health. Figure 12 illustrates some states of trachostomy. Of trachostomy. There were 218 trachostomies, which constituted 13% of the total overall surgical procedure during the period. We noted a progressive increase in the number of trachostomies performed. Upper airway obstruction was the indication in 61.4% of cases across all age groups, relating the findings of previous workers. Tumor was accounted for 58.2% of upper airway obstruction, followed by trauma in 22% of cases. We reaffirmed the rational use of trachostomy in effective cases of upper airway obstruction. Bearing in mind the improved conservative methods of management using the power of sitting, anti inflammatory medications, antimicrobials, and endotracheal administration especially in cases of severe strain. As important as trachostomy is, it also has its associated complications, as highlighted in our study titled Complications of Rescue for Trachostomy and Management. 179 trachostomies were performed in cross-state patients, out of which 69 had complications, as shown in tables 6 and 7. Complications were covered in 54% emergency cases and 29 and 26% elective cases, a difference which was statistically significant. The viral mortality rate was 2.2%. The complication rate compares with that of Okafor, complication of 1981. We recommended a standard approach towards circulation and its care in hospital, especially in emergency situations, and regular follow-up for those on long-term or permanent circulation, having probably instructed on home care of their trachostomies. The current respiratory problematosis. This is the most common benign mechanism of the larynx, known to result in other airway obstruction, and which has most often been misdiagnosed in the environment as well as airway disease in children. It is etiologically associated with human abnormal virus, such as 6 and 11. No one can even learn in 2004 reported the face glory case of recurrent respiratory problematosis of the virus in a 18 month old female child which we need to retrieve for India abscess in the sub-region. Following this, I have one my colleagues reviewed what three cases of surgical confirmed cases of recurrent respiratory hypnotosis under the ECHA from 1988 to 2002 with a view to determine the clinical features and cause of the disease. The majority of the patients were aged between 1 to 10 years. We can age group in the age group 6 to 10 having the highest prevalence of 39.5%. In the areas recording the second peak, it has been noted that the mode of transmission is via sexual contact or indirect contact, kind of genital issues with a slight male preponderance. All the patients were housed at presentation with 70% of them this week and had to have emergency trichosomy at presentation. Our method of treatment was microdiagnoscopy and excision of the problematic and that disease regulation and preservation of sexual reports. Many authors believe that the incidence of trichosomy is more in younger children with aggressive disease. This select group tends to have re frequent recurrences following this issue. Our experience is different in respect of recurrences as there was no recurrence in 53.5% of the patients after the initial surgery, in spite of the fact that the majority were instructed at presentation and the highest incidence of five recurrences over the 10-year period were only in two 
patients. With regard to the clinical diagnosis of the referral physician, only in 15 cases was there an accurate diagnosis as shown in table 8. Why not the majority of the patients were of the fourth order of act in their respective findings as was in table 9? Our findings, our findings are varied with the belief that the current of hematosis is more prevalent among Facebook, primarily delivered by teenage mothers with gentile work. It is also known that apart from vascular transmission of wheat, there is a chance of one in one transmission of the non coronal virus. There can be an autonomous spread and ascending transplantation for center of population. This may explain the finding of disease more prevalent in the fourth order of heart and ask for what supporting argument against elective stress section in women with vaginal wounds. There are more complications associated with trichosomy loss of sexual voice resulting from delayed presentation and repeated decision of the we advise a high index of suspicion and prompt referral in any patient with a progressive voice change, exceeding three weeks responsive to standard medical therapy. Hostness. Voice is produced in the larynx by vibration of the vocal cords and an expiratory blast of air. For the production of pure and pleasing tones, there must be an accurate balance between the adductors and abductor muscles of the larynx. Maintenance of an even respiratory, respiratory air pressure and the of the vocal cords must be smooth. And I did it in their situation in the call. The vision from this leads to hoarseness. Hoarseness and stride as obstructed breathing are the two basic major symptoms of laryngeal disease. Considering the mobility and mortality inherent with some lesions that present with associated personal hormones and scanty autoreno and clinical services in available in Nigeria, my colleagues and I related one of the most adult Nigerians, adult Nigerian patients over an eight year period, chronic non specific laryngitis. Including vocal cord models was the most common cause of hoarseness, as indicated in table 10. This is my agreement with the previous works in Nigeria. The prevalence, the prevalence was more among professional boys using straight-line speakers and teachers. A sample of singers and is shown in Figure 13. The survival was. I can assure you that this, compared to what uh, Professor Ronald Dr. Levitinki is in the, my own area of transition. Well, I don't know what Professor Hamza Levitinki, but I can assure you that all everybody here has a very structure, like the barracks. From our study, the pathologies associated with hospitals are varied, and by sense for more than three weeks, should prompt early referral to specialists for detailed auto evaluation. evaluation. In a similar study, the Michael and Computology of Chocolate with Hospitals in 56 students seen at the ORI clinic of two tertiary health institutions in Nigeria. The most common pathology on the and in fact was recurrent respiratory hematosis, followed by acute pharyngeal infections, as shown in table 11. It's worth noting that the age group 4 to 7 had the highest prevalence of recurrent respiratory hematosis. The patients had a mean duration of 17.4 months before presentation of 62% of patients listening. Presentation. Assessing trichosomy as shown in table 12. The acute infections may be missed with spedulotitis, group, bacteria, and retrofarid abscess presented relatively early, and all of the bacteria cases responded to therapy. Glococal pharyngitis. Pharyngitis is the inflammation of the pharynx, commonly referred to as sore throat, and most times it's a viral etiology. In a collective study, we investigated the hospital as a isolated area from the truth was of 102 patients seen at the ORA clinic, 85% of whom complained of sore throat, and 341 patients from the special treatment clinic. 98 of the patients of the 341 patients screened had positive genital and isolated malaria culture, while 11 had a vocal pharyngeal infection. There was none isolated from the truth of the 102 ORA clinic patients. However, 16 had sexual vocals. Urgent isolated. 24 females from SDC admitted to the practice of depression, which is orogenital sex. One nine of the 11 patients with pharyngeal and spinal infection had a history of depression. We concluded that pharyngeal infection was internally associated with local genital infection, while the practice of depression was therefore associated with pharyngeal and local infection. Dogs who ever practice orogenital sex and have any type of local infection. Is at risk of developing pharyngeal and vocal infection. And I say again, it's a person's alone. 
But again, the person might be taking a pick for the development of the Rotaringia Council. The vice president was, uh, my submission was approved. I alerted human papilloma virus, Epstein virus, HIV. It's going to prove it's actually had a part and some dietary deficiencies. As the risk factor was in the development of head and neck neoplasms. We know that the prevalence of human papilloma virus in relation to head and neck neoplasms is on the increase. The infection is acquired mostly through back and up or Sexual practice and culturally and religiously unaccepted. Hence, in our the participants were too shy to volunteer their information. Also, religious and social cultural beliefs and practices of the people, in addition to the non specific symptoms of the lesions at an early stage, contributed to delay in the presentation of the health facilities for specialist evaluation. Inadequate or other non availability of diagnostic equipment, non functioning of treatment facilities, conspired to worsen the prognosis. In these already advanced cases. Yes, the last question. As an agronomist head and neck surgeon, I wish to dwell a bit on a disease entity which has made most of the patients of the afflicted parents of the afflicted child, night watchmen, men's prayer warriors, and that's like another disease. That one is an aggregation of lymphoid tissue, pyramidal shape, which is based on the procedural nose of India wall, and this apex pointed toward the nasal septum which attains its maximum size between the ages of 3 and 7 years. The lateral soft tissue x of the postnatal space is a reliable way of assessing abnormal signs, as shown in figure 14. This assesses the absolute size of abnormal and its relationship to the endocrineal area. In light of sorted abnormalities, may present with symptoms of chronic nasal obstruction, Rhinorrhea, snoring, malbreeding, and then hypomazal virus. Constructive sleep apnea in children is clinically marked by loud snoring, apnea episodes, wide sleeping, daytime smoothness, behavioral problems, and neurosis. The cardiac complications of an obstructive adenoid usually necessitate the routine request by surgeons and anesthetists for electrocardiographic or echocardiographic violation as part of the pre operative evaluation of the child going for adenoid decay. We have a latest and four children to know if within ECG waste and an anatomy is necessary or not. Only seven patients had abnormal ECG findings, but the hydration fraction of an echocardiogram rate from 63 to 72 percent with a mean value of 68.2 percent. Cardiac complications of the light shows of the abnormal appear not to be common. Thus, we concluded that routine pre-operative echo electrocardiogram should therefore be restricted to only the high-risk people. In another study, we compared oxygen saturation of children with obstructive adenoid and tonsil and normal children. We noted that normal children have a better maternal saturation profile than children with an adenoid tonsil enlargement. Adenoid tonsil enlargement is a rewarding treatment of choice for obstructive adenoid tonsil enlargement. As captured in the words of the parent to me after his own son, okay, my son, was nearly existing, but now he is dead. And I got to work to in this moment. <laughs> Acute retrovangial abscess is a disease of children aged between 2 and 4 years, commonly following suppression of retrovangial nose in the space of genes. There is neck stiffness or torticollis and fullness of the posterior pharyngeal wall, usually with pulling of saliva. Following this from the Ranger edema as this or spontaneous structure and aspiration and great physical the soft tissue x-ray usually assists in diagnosis as it reveals pre-vascular soft tissue fullness, displacing the echo anteriorly with compromise. We undertook a review of 30 confirmed cases of acute ritual familiar abscess, consisting of 25 children and 5 adults. The major complaints we are given, striving or especially stress, cough. Pain in the neck, throat swelling, and refusal of feet. Why was I discharge? Nasal obstruction and snoring. We are seeing more among the younger age group. There was a mutation of neck extension, 30 colleagues, and mutation of neck flexion, 67%, 30%, 27% of patients reported. All the patients were extraviral negative. All had smoke prevented with 14, having preoperative drug testing. All the adult patients developed acute retrofamily as a result of trauma to the virus by penetrating fish bone. 
and instrumentation. Was the question first? The clinical features are acute retropharyngeal abscess, include torticollis, drilling on saliva, and possible associated air obstruction. This is in addition to all that general mandates and likely frustration. This is just as was with my brother before the Wilbuma and the other other analogies that form the prior to you. Once the next fitness of the colleagues is treated, the head and the neck, the head becomes dead. Obstruction of the airway is clear. And the patient is able to enjoy the good service of his throat by chopping life. This is only really possible if Dr. Ryan Langologist, specified by my humble self, so I said so, has already done the needle that your neck remains steady for your head to step in order to always enjoy good activities without any hindrance. You need to keep contact and trace of an auto in your address. I assume DT as an academic staff of this great institution, Mama in June 1995. That is 10 months afterwards. I found myself as the only academic staff in the department. This, by no means, was an enviable status. I had my students in rotation through the department and to new resident doctors to look after. The stress was so enormous and written all over me that was of all age with only 10 proposed colleagues of medicine. If I saw that on this special day in the theater, noticed it. George, oh, I hope all is well, to which I do like most of them. I'm really stressed. I informed him. He, then and then, inquired if there were no qualified or well specialists that could be employed. Luckily, two of my trainers, Dr. A. Adoshi and the AOA, they just passed their faculty fellowship examinations. He gave them temporary appointment in the next day. And so we became three academic staff in the department. Together, we were able to train more fellows. Two of whom, Dr. Nara Professor Lassis and Dr. Monokoya, my great head acting head of department, joined the academic staff in December 2000 and January 2001, respectively. Unfortunately, on the 29th of October 2006, we lost Dr. Wille in an air crash. The department now has academic, seven academic staff. Mr. Vassar it is with humility and air of agreement and from you and this wonderful audience. Now, with my colleagues, we have trained many autoradial analogies for Nigeria and the sub region. Many of them are here today. Among our pupils are Professor B.A. B.N. Ahmad, the Master of the University Hospital, Professor K.R. Bassi, who I have cited somewhere here. <laughs> we have Professor A. A. B. Made, I have also cited him. You see her? I read the comment, writing H. Lori. Professor T.S. in the name, I've also cited him. Head of Parliament, head of Parliament of Bahara, UATH, Abuja. Dr. Aminu Bakare, Associate Professor and Medical Director, National Air Care Center, Dr. A.S. Adoga and Dr. A.A. Adoga, both brothers who are now leaders at Jude Jobs. And Dr. Aminu Bakare, I've also cited him here today from Port Harcourt. Today, Mr. Bassett, I will say that I am a fulfillment and will, however, keep on doing my best for the permanent advancement of the specialty to keep up with all standard and best practices. <laughs> Mr. Bassett, the treatment modalities for head and neck cancers include surgery, chemotherapy, and radiotherapy. The successful management. Then, on accurate diagnosis, tumor stage, and selection of appropriate treatment modality, and close with supportive flow. Thus, targeted and well coordinated health education and awareness program for our rare diseases and their prevention at community level through various media and even radio solutions should be pursued through appropriate and relevant agencies. Creation of therapy for head and neck cancers in the existing national health insurance scheme in Nigeria will likely encourage any presentation to the ORS specialists while also reducing the default from treatment. It is, it is desirable that functional work class centers for the management of head and neck cancers are established in the six geopolitical zones of the country. And programs aimed at creating awareness and encouraging immunization against small and popular virus and other infected agents will go a long way in prevention of infection and other agents that may result in neck infections and abscess. 
In the presentation I did, the likelihood of missing out some people unintentionally exists. Let me assure you that there are no intended and not meant to fight anyone. My special tribute and appreciation go to two wonderful beings that I had the privilege of being taught by at St. John's Primary School, America. He must state, and there I miss there is a more late now late. Mr. Odike was late. And thank all my teachers. And especially Prof. DTA Jalada, who was instrumental to my taking up appointment as lecturer in the University of Nevada. As a vice chancellor, I'm indebted to Prof. B.C. Zanule, as a vice chancellor, as my trainer, my leading trainer at the UNTH. He actually got me appointment at Navy. But I declined that anyway. So I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> I thank all my colleagues in the Department of Guara. My head of my acting head of the Dr. B. Mokoya, Dr. A. B. Washu, the gentleman, Professor O. A. Lassi, Dr. A. 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 And of SA okay. as well as the wonderful residents that are presently in or have passed through the department for their support. As a vice of Sarah, I'm sure if you look closely in the audience, you'll be able to see out this group of people that I just mentioned. I'm also grateful to a doing of auto rhino auto rhino microbiology, Professor Echo Bisi. Who is here with us today in person, all the way from UBTH? I'm going to be here with you today in person. Professor Dr. Dr. Saji W. Brown of Ghana, Professor C. C. Mangono, Professor O. Montade, Professor K. T. Roberts, Director and Chair, San Cuba Cancer Institute. Southern Illinois University School of Medicine and St. John's Hospital, Springfield, Illinois. Professor Michael G. Stewart, Chairman of the Department of Water and Technology, welcome Well Medical College, Cornell University, and Water and Technologies in Chief, New York Presbyterian Hospital, Well Cornell Medical Center, and Professor Eric Bloom for their contributions to my specialist groups. I also thank Dr. Lesha Peter, Dr. J. Wallace, and I've started being here. And you go down my where my desk, KDC, Dr. Commercial, my country, my Mr. Pastor also. These three people, while I was the only one in the department, they were associate lecturers. And when it appeared as if some people were going to deal with me, the train in the bed, I'm grateful to them. Dr. Alali Aji provided me with shelter during my first six months as a lecturer in the investor, for which I remain grateful. Al Haji Chief Latif Oyelande, Otomba Kunle Kalejae, all present. Yeah. I think I have to reveal this thing here at NASA. That when I came and I was jumping into Molue and coming down, Chief Oyelade like saw me and said, No, this cannot be a consultant in the Ipasota. So he bought me a Honda Civic. <laughs> the whole family today, they know me with a particular head lamp. There are other several helmets that we use in our world today. And I know that Professor M.T. Shukubi is in this group. You may recall that at the stage we had Pager. Pager. That Pager saved the parent from being born a great in the early, in the early 80s. I mean the early 90s. And the person that supplied those pagers free of charge and the Head up head is often back to the camera. <laughs> the 
the hospital had to sponsor me to various conferences and the ministry of the to my work and the state in the department. I thank them most sincerely. I pray for God's continued blessings for you and your families. I appreciate Post Mosque, Professor T.F. Shalanke. The Sabbath's son, sir, he took me out of the shores of this country on my first international presentation conference. And that is me very well. And they grateful to all professors in the surgery department for their mentorship and employment. Professor O O A Ajayi, I cited him here today. He will really submitted himself. We know that he is a great sultan of international report. He could have gone to America, Britain, or anywhere of his choice to have surgery performed. But he submitted himself to me. And I did work on him. I thank him for such a great confidence of both of me and also God that I never let him down. I started at Barrows in the College of Medicine. I have too many numerous to mention. I say thank you all. I shall forever be grateful to the very successive administrations of the College of Medicine myself, especially for the whole agent where they were saying tissue will be. The gentleman. And my dear Professor A.O. Malamu, very, very energetic. I'm forever very grateful to my credit partners in the University of the Lord, Professor O.O. Ajayi, Professor I.F. Adobole, and Professor A.O. Falashi, I commend you, and Professor O.O. Akinka for your unquestionable piece of advice and mentoring. My gratitude also go to the management of the University College Hospital. Led by the great orator Professor David Okwe Amongi. I really appreciate the friendship of the University of Orlando, gentleman Professor D.K. Hamdi, Professor Shina Malaba, Professor A. Arue Amada, Professor Y. Raji, Professor Fay Tomani, Professor O.S. and the guest of God, O.S. Alulu, Professor F.E. Oloki, Dr. Gani Adenema of the Greco, and Dr. Eddie Lu. Thank you so much for your comradeship. I also acknowledge my colleagues at the Department of Kwa University of Abuja Teaching Hospital, Kowalada, and Minukano Teaching Hospital, Kano. I remain grateful to all my research collaborators, especially Professor Jero Bumbi and Professor Arube Baka, Professor E.U. Aka of Left Memory, and Dr. E.S. I acknowledge all my patients here present. I have here my prize patients. Dickens, Deborah, Ako, Emmanuel, yes, Mr. Iman, and then uh, Miss Tina. I don't know. I appreciate the cousin and prayers of my spiritual director, Mr. Father Piero, the ex Mr. Father Montade, and then Mr. Father Father Akombi. His worship, which of the day in the world, prevents Sister Sarah Maris and the prayer world of a brother very day. A special gratitude right, goes to my brother and sister Nice, who are here in the room of St. John International Family 573 and Lot 474, Church of the Station College. I'm grateful to Daddy Edwin Ben, my former landlord, for being such a kind and noble gentleman. I also recognize the contributions of my mother in law and father in law, the King Samson and Richard. Let, and the entire Ajayoda family, for lying their daughter to escape to Mutu, he must stay with me. I appreciate the support of the President of the Welfare Institution. And to my brothers and sisters in Mutu Mona, in the name of I thank my father, who is here today. In a few weeks' time, he will be turning 90 years. for giving me the opportunity of higher education. I thank my brothers, who are all here. All of them, Romanus, Mark, the oil minister, Martin, Chile, Mary Pauline, Mary Joan, and Henry. 
We are all wonderful people. Thank you for the help and understanding. Uh, my brother, hello, I'm here. Chief Ezi, the maker to play Dr. Dr. Ayahu and Dr. Mr. Collins, I'm here. I'm all appreciated. My wonderful and ever supportive cousin, the mechanic, is highly appreciated. I thank my wife for her love and give her support and give me the conducive environment to pursue my academic activities and all. I thank God for not only giving me academic children, but also my own biology children. I am with them, I'm very determined, 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 I'm very determined